All right, so hi, tell me who you are and why you're here. Want to go first? Go. My name is Gina. Um, I'm here because I care about the future of our world. Um, we're expecting our little one, and uh, it really scares me what's happening with the climate. And uh, I want to make sure that we leave a world that's habitable <laughs> for our future child. I'm Bennett. Uh, I'm Gina's husband. Um, and yeah, we're here today volunteering for the Bernie Sanders campaign. Uh, Gina and I have both done a number of canvassing events for Bernie Sanders over the last few months. And today we were stepping into kind of a new role, um, helping to organize this event and help to um, organize the other volunteers that were coming in to do the canvassing. So, yeah. um, you know, today I was working on getting the turf cut up and sent out to everybody's phone so that they know, knew who to go talk to and working on the data entry afterwards. Right. And Gina has been helping a lot with the, the training aspect. And the volunteer outreach. Um, yep. Wow. Yep. It's a, it seems pretty pretty well organized, and there's just like a lot going on. Is that is that right? It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of campaign staff here in the Bay Area, um, okay. which is great. They've um, you know the unionized campaigns. There's a lot of uh, good paying jobs. People out here uh, working, and then they're doing a really good job of kind of multiplying that effort by getting people like us mm -hmm. uh, engaged and volunteering our time. Awesome. Yeah. And so you're doing, uh, we're here, we're here for a canvassing event, but I heard you mention uh, phone banking as well. Do you manage yeah. both of those things? Uh, yeah. So that's, this is actually <clears throat> a very new responsibility. Um, but I'm going to try to organize weekly uh, phone banking, uh, try to gather a group of maybe two to three volunteers to help me tackle a long list of uh, potential um, Bernie supporters uh, to help them uh, get engaged. Awesome. And, and this was a pretty good group of people here today. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. We had about a dozen people today. Yeah. Which is a, it's the best turnout, I think, since we've canvassed. Well, the very first one we did here in San Mateo with Alex, it was just Alex and us. Too. It was just oh, us. wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's grown pretty big. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's encouraging to see. It's yeah. catching on. It really is. I and mean, we got dragged in here because Alex is our boss, right? So, <laughs> uh, so I mean, tell me why Bernie, and we talked earlier, and, and you guys kind of got involved in this with a, a, a local candidates campaign. And, and so, how did that evolve to Bernie? Um, well, so we got involved with the Take Back the House effort. Okay. Um, so we uh, canvassed for Josh Harder um, over in Manteca. In 2018. Yeah, okay. 2018. And, um, you know, it was our first time canvassing, and it was kind of intimidating, but it actually felt really good at the end of the day to um, be involved and try to make a difference. And I guess, you know, with everything that happened since 2016 and Trump's election, it just felt hard to not do anything anymore. So um, we decided to get more involved. Right. And you said you were expecting. So yeah. is that a big factor there? Climate change? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it scares the hell out of us, honestly. Climate change and healthcare. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's uh, probably the two biggest issues for us. Yeah. Um, you know, access to healthcare is major. The immediate one is having affordable access to healthcare for us and our family now, and yeah. then have a planet around to have our future child be able to live in. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, yeah. I mean, so we both uh, supported Bernie Sanders as a candidate um, in 2016, mm -hmm. um, and then went on to to vote for Hillary in the general. Yeah. Um, but we weren't super involved with the campaign at the time. Right. Uh, but we've been yeah. following uh, Bernie for a while, um, and you know what it really comes down to, I think, for me is trust. Um, right. I yeah. I really don't feel like I can trust a lot of political candidates, but I do feel like I can trust Bernie. He's been saying the basically the same things for the last 40 years, um, and he's been right about these things for the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, and when he says he's gonna fight for something like universal health care, like climate change, I actually really believe that he's serious about fighting for it and not yeah. just saying something to get votes. Right. Yeah, yeah. His he's record, been, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, he's just been um, consistent, honestly, which is hard to find, I think, in a political candidate. And it means a lot that he's been saying things since, you know, 
earlier than the 80s. <laughs> so Right. right. More than <laughs> yeah. 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. So are we going to win this time? Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, we're going to try our hardest to make it happen. The way we win is by getting more volunteers out like this. You know? It's yeah. like if we, can, if we can continue this momentum – and talk to more people, have more of these one-on-one -on -one interactions, yeah. and build that base of support, and really build that that political revolution. That's I think that's how we win. And I think what's so exciting is that it's it feels so possible right this time mm -hmm. around. Right. That he's yeah. he's really a viable candidate for right. the, um, uh, the candidate of the Democratic Party, and um, that's not something that would have even seemed possible uh, like ten years ago. Exactly true, and and uh, just on canvassing, it seems like um, this is the the best way. Canvassing, getting out there, knocking on doors, talking to your neighbors is the best way to subvert the censorship of MSM. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very true. And um, yeah, I mean, we found just in talking to people, canvassing, that there's quite a few people that are interested in Bernie, but aren't necessarily super politically plugged in. Right. Um, it's been really helpful just to remind people that the primary is coming up and that they have yeah. a voice and that they should use it. Oh, that's a good point. The yeah. California primary got, got moved up from June, right? So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, now it's March. Yeah, right. so, yeah we've had a lot of people canvassing. It's like, oh yeah, I, I kind of like Bernie. Oh, when's when's the primary again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And those are, those are exactly the people we want to talk to. Right. They're already, you know, engage, they're already, um, inclined to vote for Bernie, they, they like the message, but that little extra boost to make sure they follow through and actually vote on uh, election day is I think gonna be critical. Yeah, yeah, and just having that conversation get started um, right. and having them starting to think about that stuff um, is gonna make a big difference. So. Awesome, well thank you both so much for what you do. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.